going to show you how to make a snack favorite called shakoi. It's also called bitsu bitsu. Let's begin. Here are the ingredients. Four cups all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons baking powder. One half teaspoon salt. Two teaspoons instant dry yeast. One third cup sugar. One whole egg. Three tablespoons margarine. Two teaspoons vanilla. One and one fourth cups water. All right, you put water in the bowl and then you put yeast. This is instant yeast. You stir. You know the yeast is active if you can see some bubbles. See? And then I have vanilla, sugar, baking powder egg and then you add the salt to the flour don't add the salt directly to the yeast because it slows down the activity of the yeast Sometimes it will also kill the yeast, so put this all in and then let's mix this. Uh, you mix at low speed for one to two minutes until you form a dough. Here you can see the dough is formed, so I'm going to add the margarine now. You can also use butter, but margarine is okay. Later on, if you find the dough too dry you can add a little bit more water maybe one or two tablespoons you mix this at medium speed for 10 minutes when you hear the slapping sound you can hear the dough being slapped around the sides of the bowl then this is a sign that it's ready to check the window pane. You pinch off a small portion and try to stretch it. If you can stretch it without tearing, it means that you have formed the gluten or it's ready for fermentation. You can see the tip of my fingers. All right, remove this from the bowl and then you form a ball. And then here you put about one to two tablespoons of oil. Put the dough upside down and then turn it over. So you have oil on top, then you have oil on the bottom. And then you cover this with plastic wrap. You let this ferment or rise for one hour or until it's double in bulk. If you don't have plastic, you can use a damp towel. All right, we'll see this in an hour. This is our shakoi dough after one hour. It is now double in size. So we punch this down. We'll divide them into 50 or 60 gram portion, depending on what size you want it. I'll do 60 today. Right. After you have portioned the dough, you form them into smooth balls. There are three ways to form a smooth ball. The first one is to cup the dough in your hand and press it against the table or the board so that it forms a smooth ball. Again, cup, then press it on the table so you get a smooth ball. The next one is this way you put your thumb and then you fold it like this and then put your thumb up like this like this and like this and then after that you pinch this together and then you have a smooth ball again put your thumb in the center then fold it over your thumb then bring your thumb up 
fold bring your thumb up again fold 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 and then pinch this together and you have a smooth ball another way is you just fold it over like this all right whichever way is easier for you is all right as long as you get a smooth ball and then you rest this for 10 minutes before we roll them into lugs after 10 minutes we form them into a baston or a rod like this make sure you don't cut it so be careful all right after you're finished with the last one you go to the first one that you made into a baston so this one and then we roll it out again you roll it out to about 15 inches if you can otherwise 12 is all right you will notice the second rolling is easier because the dough has relaxed so like this and then I'll show you two ways to braid the first way is just like this and then normally they just pinch this together but I always make a knot to make sure it does not untangle when you fry this so this is the first one another way you can braid is to just hold it in the middle and then twist like this this is faster again hold this in the middle and then twist. all right so i'll continue with the rest after you braid it you let it rise on a tray dusted with uh, flour or if you don't want to use flour you use a silicone mat so that it won't stick and then we'll let this rise for about 45 minutes. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. You can check if the oil is hot. You put a cooking chopstick or a barbecue stick in the middle. You'll see bubbles around the stick, all right? move it around to make sure that the color is even all right take this out this is done dip it in sugar make sure also that no oil drips into the sugar because if there's oil in the sugar the sugar will not stick to the shakui also